now on, whenever a human speaks to you, you will be able to read their current thoughts. You take care of getting the lands. It's imperative. I'll take care of preparing our departure. She... She has to pay for all the harm she's done to me. Meanwhile, let us remain on our guard against any last-minute surprises. I know my brother well. He never prepares for war if he has no chance of winning. Finding out that I'm a demon makes no difference. I haven't come all this way just to fail so close to the goal. If I'm asking you all these things, it's for your own good, you know. You are keeping up the good work, I see. But I'm telling you, keep your guard up. Everyone is rather on edge right now. Don't make me your competition, Derichet. You are no match. Trust yourself. It's all already in there. Dear friends, I'd like to thank you for your continued trust and confidence. I admit that during these past few days, there has been much upheaval. I understand you've all been affected by this. Nevertheless, the world doesn't stop turning, and we are in fact on the verge of reshaping the modern world. That is what we are all here for, my lord. Thank you for your enthusiasm, Monsieur Bonaparte. Now you all know what we have to do. I cannot warn you strongly enough. If one of Sir Gregory's guests asks to speak with you, remain on your guard. It is highly likely that he will try to rally as many supporters to his cause as he can. Don't worry, William. We are all here to support your project through to its conclusion. Thank you, George. Now, please, go and get some rest before the conference begins, which won't be long now. Louis, stay with me a moment, won't you? I'll be needing your services in a certain matter. Yes, of course. What's the matter? Louis, you are the only one here who I totally trust. It is very likely that Gregory will take possession of some of the members of our team. I shall keep them in check over the next few hours. However, I'll need you to... How can I say this? To persuade the members of Gregory's group. What do you mean by that exactly? You'll have free reign, my son. Persuade all of them. Use every possible means imaginable. But no physical violence. Let's be very, very clear about that. You must bring them all over to our side. One after the other. You can do this. I know it. Very well, Father. Now go, and come back and see me once you've finished. I'll be off then. So, go and take care of your mission, and come back and see me once you've accomplished it, Louis. Looks like Volner's planning something. Look, a, a blotter. And apparently it's been used recently. I wonder what Volner was going to write. It's smudged. It's not all legible. I can make out the signature though and 
Leave as Azif planned la Legible. Let's see if I can find a solution in Volner's things here. Given his interest in alchemy, I wouldn't be surprised if I found something that revealed what's written somewhere in his room. What a mess. Looks like Volner was interrupted. A lot like straw, and he's drawn something in a hurry on this sheet. I get the feeling that I've seen that somewhere before. I've seen occult inscriptions like this before. They're not very common. As a matter of fact, I've only seen them once before, around the Lock of Alazif. Draw on his desk, as if to, as if to protect something fragile. Yes, someone must have packed something away here. Table of alchemical symbols. Someone circled the zinc symbol. What a mess! Looks like Volnor was interrupted. Landing stage. Landing stage. Right. So Volner is going to leave Alazif at the landing stage by the pier. A chemistry set. That's not surprising coming from Von Wolner.
the signs of obscurantism. Golden elixir, consume without excess. The alchemist is a young man. Barrel's been broken for quite some time. I think this chest might belong to Duchess Hillsborough with a sack of seeds. It's unopened. No one seems to have used any. What is? Yes, yes. I, at last, I found it. Alzif. Well, you gotta admit, you did give us a run for our money. Huh? A, a page has been torn out. Some rope. Apparently no one's touched it for a good long time. A Byzant from the Byzantine Empire. A coin often used during the St. Louis era.
What can I do for you, sir? I am at your service, day and night, sir. As I was unable to bring my personal effects with me, I was wondering if you could find me a few items. Of course, sir. What would you require? My good fellow, would you have any amber available? I would, but unfortunately I don't think I am authorized to give it out, sir. I believe it is a precious stone. Ah, oh, I still haven't quite recovered after that boat crossing. Would you happen to have any Devil's Thorn by any chance? I, I am sorry, sir, but the Devil's Thorn may be just a plant, but it is also a powerful psychotropic drug that causes undesirable diuretic effects. I would advise against, sir, taking any. You see, Tribulus cystoides is from the Zygophilaceae family, very rich in nitrates and potassium chloride. It was used in India 700 years before Christ, my good fellow. And I know nothing better to perk you up. Oh, as Sir wishes. Here is the herb, sir. May I help you in anything else, sir? A little Carmelite water would do me a lot of good. Could you find me some, please? Oh, the tonics are under lock and key, sir. Lord Mortimer only allows access to them in cases of emergency. Listen, I suffer from terrible migraines, and the voyage by boat is brought on my rheumatism. So, unless you have anything else to alleviate the pain, please give me some quickly. Thank you. Oh, and, and the one from Bordeaux, right? I prefer it to the one from Paris. Immediately, sir. Here. I hope, sir, will get well again quickly. Anything else, sir? You wouldn't have a little golden elixir I could use, would you? Oh, unfortunately, sir, I have orders not to give any of that medicine to any of Lord Mortimer's guests. Some guests are here to follow a very strict treatment. Mixing or combining certain substances would be dangerous for sir. My good fellow, you're right. One should never mix treatments without the advice of an expert. It so happens that I usually make my own golden elixir, but I haven't brought my kit with me. Perhaps, in that case, would you fetch a spoonful of ethyl alcohol, ethereal oil, and 10 milliliters of ethanol for me? Along with that, a small quantity of gold, please. Just a few crumbs will suffice. Ah, I see that Sir knows his subject. Therefore, I see no reason why I shouldn't give them to you. I hope that will be enough for you, Sir because I haven't any more. Thank you. That will be fine. May I help with anything else, sir? My good fellow, would you have any amber available? I would, but unfortunately I don't think I am authorized to give it out, sir. I believe it is a precious stone. Dear friend, please come and join us. We must meet about the ongoing operations in Paris. A boat will be waiting for you in Calais, and we'll take you to...
Duke Manuel. De Richet. I'm delighted to see you're standing by Lord Mortimer. One cannot say that the situation is altogether reassuring, but I must admit, he does know what he's doing. Something tells me I've made the right choice. So, to thank you for persuading me to join you, what would you say to a nice piece of amber? I am given to understand that you collect it? Yes. Thank you very much, sir. Don't mention it to it, sir. It is the least I can do. Good. See you at the vault. I'll see you later, then. Right. Godoy is on board. Don Quixote. Talking without thinking is like shooting without taking aim. Hmm. I'm going to have to think about that one. Charles IV of Spain. Now there's no chance of Godoy forgetting who he owes everything to. Brutus and his companions taking an oath to kill Caesar. Your Eminence, would you have a moment? I shouldn't really, Louis. As you can imagine. Rest assured, I come just as a friend. All right then, Louis. But be quick. Thank you, Your Eminence. Ah, uh, it's got nothing to do with it. But you, you didn't come and see me in my room a few hours ago, did you? Hmm. Does he remember anything? Uh. Oh no. No, I'm sorry. You must be mistaken. I've been speaking to Lord Mortimer in his study. I... I must have dreamed it then. It seems so real. Don't blame yourself, Your Eminence. We're all exhausted. I can assure you of that. That's very kind of you, Louis. I don't know what's wrong with me at the moment, but I feel rather fragile. <sighs> Poor man seems terrified. It'd be a good idea if I reassured him a little before trying to get him to change sides. Oh, what did you want from me exactly? It was so real. I... I don't understand it. Oh, Lord. Are you going to taste me again? Tell me, Your Eminence. Do you know anything about symbols and dreams? Come, Louis. The scriptural law rejects all divination through dreams. 
You ought to know that. Of course, I, I wasn't suggesting that these visions were messages from God, Your Eminence. But it might be that when we rest, our mind imagines situations based on things that left an impression on it. Take your dream, for example. What did it speak of? I'm not sure that I can speak about it. Don't worry, Your Eminence. There's no one else here but me. Well, I was right here, in my room, and you came to see me. Then it all became confusing. I know that Mr. Von Volner was here too. He... No, no, it's not possible. What was he doing? He tried to harm you. Damn it. He does have memories of what happened. Your Eminence, you have no reason to worry, because I'm right here in front of you, in perfect health. Yes. Yes, you are right. You're probably just a little tired, overworked, that's all. That's it. Just a bit tired. Anyway, thank you for listening. Please excuse me, Louis, if I've wasted your time. You came to see me about the conference, I imagine. And here I go rambling on about uh, I don't know what nonsense. No need to apologize, Your Eminence. Think nothing of it. <sighs> what did you want to speak to me about? Right. It's now or never to get him to change his mind. I must admit that opposing you pains me, and it pains Lord Mortimer a great deal as well. I can well imagine. You should know that I am not happy about it either. He's an upright man who, like yourself, spends his time helping others and doing good around him. But you know that better than I do. I owe him a lot, you know. Your Eminence, if you feel you owe him something, let me tell you it's not too late to show it. It's thanks to him that I took the Holy Orders. We met when I was very young, here, on this island. After our encounter, I had the firm conviction that my duty was to take the Holy Orders. Uh, to tell you the truth, I owe him everything. Have you ever thanked him for it? Never. You must find me ungrateful. I would never dare, Your Eminence. <sighs> You came to persuade me to join him, didn't you? I don't have that power, but I do sincerely believe that Lord Mortimer serves a righteous cause. You are an angel who brings peace to the soul, my son. Listen to your heart, Your Eminence. You are right. To hell with all this political manipulation. I... Yes, I must listen to my conscience. Yes, listen to that little voice in your head. What does it say? Yes, Louis. I will vote for William's project. I will follow you. I'm sure it will mean a great deal to Lord Mortimer, Your Eminence. Once again, thank you, my son. Please leave me now. I must pray. Of course, Your Eminence. I'll be on my way now.
golden elixir. to Von Voner. Blasted. Home is with him. Gentlemen. Louis! I'm sorry, but we are waiting for Duke Manuel. If you wouldn't mind leaving us, I should think you already have enough to do as it is. Very well. I didn't mean to disturb you. They're waiting for Duke Manuel. No doubt to make him change sides. <sighs> All right. If they want him, then they'll get him. Yes, monsieur. Is there something you wanted to add? Concentrate. I need you to listen carefully to what I have to say, Godoy. I am all ears. Louis, push. I need you to do me a little favor. It's working. That's it, Louis. Get in his head. Oh, dear. What is happening to me? I, I do not feel very well. I need your help, sir. Get in his head. Oh, perfect. Thank you, monsieur. I'm sure I'll know how to take full advantage of your vessel. Now that I am Manuel.
Duke Manuel, here you are at last. Sir Gregory, Mr. Von Volner. Thank you for agreeing to this meeting. I shan't beat about the bush, my friend. I was very disappointed by your behavior. I had thought you more loyal. Consequently, my affection for you leads me to ask you to reconsider one last time. I've already reconsidered it, Sir Gregory. I shall be loyal to you when it comes to the vote. I've no doubt about it. Excellent news indeed, my friend. Did you hear, Johan? Yes, and it comes at a most timely moment. I anticipate an overwhelming victory. It goes without saying to keep it to yourself. I would like to give William a nice surprise. Whatever you say. I'll leave you with Johan a while. I still have a few things to settle. I shan't be long. See you later, Sir Gregory. Oh, God, no. Come over here. I'm warming myself up. I had the misfortune to step outside and I'm frozen solid. I wonder what he was doing outside. Something to do with what Holm asked him for. Maybe. He's back from the landing stage. Damn. He must have gone to Depazo El Azif for someone to pick up. Mr. Von Volner, I wanted to speak to you. I'd like to make you an offer you can't refuse. I'm all ears. Now, we don't have much time, so here it is. You will vote for Mortimer. What a strange idea, Kodoy. You are being ridiculous. Tell me now, why would I do that? Louisiana is Spanish. Consequently, I am best placed to know what to do with it. It's turning into a personal stake between Gregory and William. Honestly, would you like it if someone told you what to do with Royal Prussia and Greater Poland? Well, it depends. No, don't try smoothing things over. You are a statesman. You know what I mean. Today, Spain is weighed down by Louisiana. A source of epidemics, insurrections. It prevents us from concentrating on exploiting the wealth in the Western Territories. And I have to let Gregory decide? I understand your point. But as far as I'm concerned, I would rather be honest. You are wasting your time, Duke Manuel. You know nothing about me, and your attempts to manipulate me have no effect. You behave as though we were close. Yet ever since you arrived, you've only been interested in your own little self. Don't say that, Johan. We may not be friends, but we are allies. Is that so? And what do you know about me, exactly? You are loyal and discreet. Just look at how you managed to get your hands on al for Gregory. But how? Well, I'm more attentive than you seem to think. The fact remains, I was able to admire your expertise. There wasn't a great deal to it, in actual fact. <laughs> I wouldn't exactly call him modest. I don't know whether or not Gregory realizes how lucky he is to have you in his ranks, but for my part, I know a great man when I see one. I... thank you. Duke Manuel. But, uh, tell me, why do you want to follow Mortimer all of a sudden? Mortimer is planning something. We don't know everything. He must have something up his sleeve to be so confident. Ah, really? And what do you think that might be? Let's see what he knows. All of this is just a show. He has contacted all those we represent. What do you mean? That everything is already decided in higher spheres. William Frederick, the King of Spain, the Pope, William Pitt. I don't understand. Lord Mortimer has invited those who work in the wings of power to take a hand in swaying the decisions of those who actually hold it. Everything is already played out. He has already won. <laughs> How is this possible? We've all underestimated him. 
He's fooled us. We're done for. Look, it all hinges on the next few hours, Johan. Look, I hear everything you're saying, but there is no chance that Mortimer can make us all change sides. That is why Sir Gregory can but win. You understand? Think again. It's already too late. Now, you're the last one left. Your loyalty toward Gregory is honorable, but no longer makes any sense. If you don't change your mind, you'll be venturing into dangerous waters for no valid reason. Unless it's to win. Yes, but at what price? Think of all those who... who will be hostile toward you afterwards. Just think about it rationally, I mean it. Prussia has nothing directly at stake, so why put your position or your life in the balance? I... I hear you. Honestly, betraying Gregory is... Well, it's... It's unthinkable. Unless I simply don't have any choice. Yes, he's finally cracked. Thank you for warning me. You're welcome. There is nothing more natural between allies. I did what I could. Now, it's up to you. As for me, I'll vote for Mortimer. Good luck to you. Good luck. Good. I mustn't lose too much time. See you later, my Lord Duke. Have a nice rest. Louis, there you are. Well, tell me, how did it go? I did my best. Whom did you manage to persuade? Well, there's no point in wasting any time. I'm proud to report they've all come over to our side. Ha <laughs> ha, Louis, I'm impressed. I was sure you would succeed. I'm proud of you, my son. Even Johan? How did you manage to do it? I possess Godoy. You possessed Godoy, of course. Very ingenious of you, I must say. Son, you've accomplished a veritable tour de force. I couldn't have done better myself. Now, we are ready. The conference may begin. Assemble everyone in the conference room. Meet me there and let's get it over with. My friends, here we are at last, gathered together to close this conference. I would first of all like to thank you all for making the time to be here and lend your services. Gregory, I, I believe I may speak for both of us when I say that we are honored by your presence here. You, you are perfectly right to do so, William. Thank you for putting your faith in us and for coming here to participate in this conference. Thank you for helping us to make the best decisions. And I especially want to thank you, William, for, for perfectly hosting us at your home during these past several days. I'm not sure all the guests would agree to that. In any case, Holm doesn't seem to be himself. Duchess Hillsborough will also not be voting. The poor woman has suffered a lot of upheaval lately. As she was feeling quite poorly, she apologizes, but she preferred to return to the continent. The Duchess? I hope it's nothing serious. Don't worry, Mr. President. I had someone escort her. The Duchess simply needs rest, and now she is in good hands. 
I must say, Sir Gregory, you are beset by bad luck. Indeed. One would think that I am hounded by ill fortune. Good. I think we can begin. You will vote in turn on the question that interests us today. Are you for or against the transfer of ownership of Louisiana from Spain to France? Monsieur de Richet? I vote for. Duke Manuel? For. Your Eminence? For. But I... Gregory, please. Monsieur Napoleon? For. Mr. Von Volner? For. What? Gregory, but... please refrain from interrupting the voting. You know the rules, brother. President Washington? For. Monsieur Peru? Yes. The votes are now cast. The project is therefore approved. Dirty traitor! Mr. Godoy, soon you will be in charge of passing the territory of Louisiana over to France. It will be done. What have you done? Me? Nothing, dear brother. What have you done to me? What have I done? Nothing, Gregory. You did it yourself. A word of advice. In the future, oh, that is, if you have one, don't drink someone else's cup of tea without checking what's in it. Father, what happened? Sir Gregory, what's the matter? William, what have you done? Not now. Oh. You... You are mad, William! Father will... Father will punish you for, for this. He will probably try, unless I get to him first. But I cannot die. No, you cannot die. You are, however, losing all sense of reason, as well as all your special abilities. What? What? What did I drink? Can't you guess? There are but few things that can have such an effect on such as we. You would know that if you ever ventured even a little way off of Father's beaten track. I... Revenge! Oh, no, my dear Gregory. You will not be taking any revenge. You will die stupidly, alone, enclosed in that rather withered body. Help. Help me. After several centuries Help. of near absolute power, here you find yourself on your hands and knees, hoping in vain that someone is going to help you. Tell me, what does that feel like? Never happened to me. Can't be good. You cannot leave your body. You cannot project yourself elsewhere. You cannot even contact father. Go ahead. Try. But you are my brother. So I ask you to remember that all this is your own fault. And I want you to understand I get absolutely no pleasure out of it. Well, very little. You, you swine! A new order is born today, brother. Enough of father's hegemony. After all these years of servitude, I can finally stand up and oppose it. You chose to serve him, whatever his excesses, now it's up to you to face the consequences of that choice. Whoa. <laughs> Matt, <laughs> I am stronger than, than you!
What's happening? Am I dreaming or...? Louis! It's me, Gregory. Listen, we don't have much time. But where are we? Louis, I brought us here. You must act swiftly. I can't hold out for long. William has poisoned me. He must have used the blood of a former demon. I am no longer able to enter the body of someone else. The poison is gnawing away at me from the inside. I... I'm going to die, Louis. But where are we? In the ether. What you see is not real. It's only a mental projection created by my spirit. I'm occupying William's spirit at the moment, but I'm not going to be able to keep it up forever. Join me, Louis. Otherwise, all will be lost. Yes. Yes, I'll join you. Find a way. Hurry. I must find them quickly. Beneath your compassion, we take refuge, O oh Mother of God. I'm so lucky to serve Lord Mortimer. I deserve a great destiny, and I will let nothing, nor no one, stand in the way of my dream. History will remember me, and the sacrifices I made. Dear God, if I lose the war against France, I will be doomed. I, I sense that... Something is happening, but I could no longer move. There must be a way. Rational. Rational and open, Sarah. Sarah? Is that you? Louis? Louis, can you hear me? I'm here, Louis. Can you see me? Of course, but I don't understand. Oh, merciful heaven. You can see me. Yes, I... Louis, I don't know what's happening, but you must help me. Look, j just calm down. I can't see you, Louis. I'm here right in front of you. No, I can't see you. The caves are deserted. I can't leave, Louis. Help me. You died. Died? No! What are you talking about? Look, I am right here. And... As you are my sister, it's possible that demons don't completely disappear after their physical bodies die. But... But how is that possible, damn it? I'm stuck here! I don't know. I'm, I'm only guessing. I, only your physical body is dead. Apparently your spirit is kept here. I daren't try understand. I... Am I condemned? Look, neither of us know anything about this situation, really. Help me, Louis. You are the first one, the only one to see me, to speak to me. Without you, I'll never get out of here. Don't leave me like this, I beg you. Listen, you have to stay positive. Seeing as I've entered the ether, I, I must be able to leave it. If it's possible for me, then it's possible for you. 
Do you really think so? Rational and open, remember? Uh, yes, right. You are right. There must be a solution. But how come you can move around? I'm not dead. I don't understand. I think there are many things that you don't understand. It doesn't matter. I trust you. You are going to help me, aren't you? I must be getting on. I, I can't stay much longer. Louis, I beseech you. Promise you're going to help me. Of course I'm going to help you, Mother. Thank you, Louis. I trust you. Thank you. Mindful, alas, that we are... Emily? Louis. You were reciting something. A prayer of atonement. It's my punishment, Louis, for what I did to Emma. And for what I did to Sarah. I must do penance for all my sins. What exactly were you hoping for, after everything that's happened? You're going to be able to think about all the things you've done, Emily. I am dead, Louis. I am stuck at the place of my death and I can't seem to move. And I'm talking to an apparition that represents precisely why I lost my mind. The one for whom I committed the unforgivable. Emily, listen to me. I assure you... No, no, that's enough. I can't bear it anymore. Even in death, I have to pay for my errors. Isn't being dead payment enough? I am damned. Leave me alone, demons. I don't want to listen to you anymore. Off with you, Satan! Leave her, Louis. There's nothing you can do for her. Very well, Emily. Very well. In nomine Patris et Filii et Spiritus Sancti, I confess, my God, mindful, alas, that we ourselves have had a share in such great indignities which we now deplore. But there must be a way. Rational. Rational and open. There must be a way. Rational. Rational and open, Sarah. Think, damn it. Think! But there must be a way. Rational. Rational and open, Sarah. Think, damn it. Think! Mindful, alas, that we ourselves have had a share in such great indignity. What am I doing here now? N nothing seems real. You are nothing but a coward. What a bunch of amateurs you are. Please, keep calm. What on earth is going on here? I don't understand a thing. Louis, don't waste any time. Appease them. My thoughts are becoming confused. Help me. Be quick. Yes. Not a minute to lose. Stay with me, Louis. We must take Alazif back from him. on my father and my son to defend me. Yes, but will they make it in time? That's not really Elizabeth. It's another demon who wants to protect home from Mortimer. On a symbolic level, he should be placed between the two of them. I can count. 
count on my father and my son to defend me. Yes, but will they make it in time? That's not really Elizabeth, it's another demon who wants to protect home from Mortimer. On a symbolic level, he should be placed between the two of them. like I've succeeded. They've all disappeared. Louis, it's worked. But don't waste any time. Yes, I'm coming. At least as soon as I found the exit. I can hear you. I know what? you're there. What are you doing here? You. It wasn't enough for you to let me be killed. You have to come here and stop babbling away at me. Fool. You couldn't have stopped her from shooting, could you? You can change your tone because I'm not the one who shot at you, remember? It's not my fault if your sister got rid of you like a dead weight. I... What you just said was nasty. That was for treating me like an idiot. I didn't want it to happen like that. I just wanted to exist a little too. But didn't you ever think there might be other ways of doing that? Obviously. It's easy to say that now. Louis, we have no time to lose. Help me, please. What on earth is she talking about? Come on, I... You're dead. No. There's got to be a solution. I am made of the same stuff as you. I already survived a gunshot at point-blank range. I will survive this. Help me. I'll go mad if I stay here any longer. I must have been here several months. I, I stopped counting from... Hang on. What are you doing here? Are you dead? No. Sir Gregory brought my spirit here, but I must get back as soon as possible. So you should be able to help me. Emma, I have no idea of what's going on. How do you expect me to help you? There must be a way. I beg you, promise you will help me, Louis. Emma, how can you expect me to promise anything under these conditions? Don't leave me, Louis. Look, I don't want to get your hopes up, Emma. I hope you understand. Farewell. No, Louis. No! Louis! No! Don't leave me. Louis! Filthy scum, I'll kill you! I'll get out of here and I'll come looking for you, Louis de Richet! Do you hear me? I will find you! I must be quick. My memories! I... I'm losing my sense of who... I... Louis? Are you there? Yes. Yes, I'm here. Pick up the thread of my thoughts, Louis. Of my memories. Make haste! I must speak to you. And coincidentally, who arrives at the same time as Emily? And coincidentally, who arrives at the same time as Emily? This memory is important, but it's as if there's something missing. There must be an order to this. And coincidentally, who arrives at the same time as Emily? And the cherry on the cake is I drank his cursed tea. I must speak to you.
Who's there? Elizabeth? B I saw your body. You're dead. Gregory? No. No, you are not Gregory. Something's not right. Gregory, you are in danger. Elizabeth, what's the matter? Who are you? Uh, uh, So very small, Louis. It's useless trying to hide. Uh, I will find you. Oh, there's no point in getting rough. If you have a question, just ask me. Empty words. Uh, you refuse to tell me who you are, but I will find you out. No one can escape me. What's happening here? My son is in danger. Talk! I thought you were dead! I am not Elizabeth Adams. She was killed. Brutally. Who killed her? Tell me. Oh, shut up, Louie. That's none of my business. Oh, you would rather say nothing, would you? Fine. Never mind. Is it you who- Your question is irrelevant. Elizabeth was just a receptacle which allowed me to observe William's actions. But I- I didn't even ask the question! You thought it. Sir Gregory has been poisoned! What? Uh, who uh, dares attack my son? It would seem it was Lord Mortimer! William, that vile little traitor. Oh. He dared overstep our family rules. No member of the family will you kill. The dog, he will pay for this. What kind of creature are you? Creature? Is that what you call me? Be careful. Your audacity might cost you dearly. <sighs> Whom do I have the honor of addressing? You are just a fool, a mere child. I have no time to waste with you. No, Louis, no. The longer you remain in his presence, the more danger you're in. Just get out of here. Wait. I have a proposal to make to you. Ah, 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 come back. Or you shall feel my wrath. And coincidentally, who arrives at the same time as Emily? Louis de Richer, his son. He brings his four children together, and even then I didn't react. And coincidentally, who arrives at the same time as Emily? Louis de Richer, his son. He brings his four children together, and even then I didn't react. 
And coincidentally, who arrives at the same time as Emily? And the cherry on the cake is I. And the cherry on the cake is I drank his cursed tea. He knew I would drink it. The rascal knows me better than I do myself. He broke the rules! He allowed me to bring Emily back. He allowed me to bring Emily back again to this conference. Supposedly to find her sister, whereas Emma hadn't even disappeared yet. The poor wretch was shot as her sister was setting foot on the island. I should have understood that earlier. France, so much effort, so much wasted time. It was a trap right from the start. It was a trap right from the start. At the previous conference three years ago, I'm sure he already knew I would bring the Hillsborough sisters here. He knew it. He knew it. He already knew they were his daughters. At the previous conference three years ago, I'm sure he already knew I would bring this. This is the Hillsborough first assistance. event that brought home here. Oh yeah, I'm on the right track. I recalled Sparta. I recalled Sparta. Of my exchanges back then with my brother. I did everything in my power to avoid the Peloponnesian War, but he wouldn't listen. He always wanted more. Father wasn't gentle with William back then, shutting him in the body of Pericles for eight years and reducing Athens and its cursed democracy to its knees. And when Elizabeth disappeared, I... And when Elizabeth disappeared, I... No. It's not possible. I couldn't have missed that. Not me. He cut me off from our father, and I didn't say a word. He feeds Louis, and I continue to see... He feeds Louis, and I continue to see nothing. He stuffed his poor son with an occult knowledge that we usually take months to give to our children. And Louis is only trying his best to get by. He doesn't realize he's being led to the slaughter. I recall Sparta. France, so much effort, so much waste of time. Ah, Charles Francois, what an adventure. Dear Countess Do Not Stein, what a pity. Dear Countess Do Not Stein, what a pity you disappointed me. Managed to swindle Lafayette for the damage he did to the Western monarchies. So full of remorse once it was done, I don't really regret making you steal the necklace and end up in a convent. France! France, so much effort, so much wasted time. From Charles Martel to the wars of religion, I simply did not consider Protestantism to be a real threat, and that was my greatest mistake. My faith in Father and the Catholic Church that he administered made me blind. I can see that now. I lost France through 100 years of war.
I recalled Sparta. And when Elizabeth disappeared, I... I recalled Sparta. He allowed me to... He allowed me to bring Emily back again to this conference. Supposedly to find I'm on the right track here. And coincidentally, who arrives at the same time as Emily? I'm Louis getting closer to him. And coincidentally, who arrives at the same time as Emily? from our father and I didn't say a word and One when more. Elizabeth disappeared I, I recall Sparta Cherry on the cake is I drank his cursed tea. I should come back to this later. And the cherry on the cake is I drank his cursed tea. I can't hold out. his poor son with an occult knowledge that we Can't usually the end here. his cursed tea. He trapped me. He poisoned me to stop me from being able to leave this body. He cut off all communication with father and brought his children here. How could I not have seen it earlier? He's going to absorb me. The traitor! No one can stop him now. Hurry, Louis. I absolutely must see you before it's too late. If you have managed to follow my thoughts, come to me. Quickly!
Louis, hurry! He's coming! What's happening? I can sense him. He's here. He's trying to get inside me, Louis. William has completely lost his mind. He's getting ready to pull out all the stops. He's going to devour my mind, Louis. I'm not going to be able to stop him. Louis, you are here. I sense your presence. What? But he can't even see me. Congratulations, my son. You have succeeded in joining us. Louis, don't let him draw you in there. You are signing your death warrant if you decide to follow him. I won't be there to protect you. It's over, my son. We have won. A new order can be born. Louis, I'm so weak. I can feel him entering. I... I can no longer keep him out. He's... he's coming. You can still do something, Louis. Don't let him get away with all this so easily. I implore you! I'm sorry, Uncle, but I've decided to follow Father. But how can you trust him? He's my father, and there's so much he has to show me. I'm not responsible for what happened to you. That's your business, the two of you. You are just as mad as he is, Louis. You'll end up just like him. It's over, brother. Don't fight it. You will be punished for this. Perhaps. But you won't be there to see it, will you? You will be punished! Ah, uh, I... where am I? It's all right, son. Don't panic. It's over. Uh, I'm back? Where are the guests? I invited them to go up to their rooms. They're resting. Don't worry. Gregory? We won, Louis. It's over. He's dead? Definitively. Now the way is clear. At any rate, rejoice. Great things await us. What did you do to him? I devoured his soul. You... but... I didn't see you use the Holy Lance. Indeed not. I didn't need to. Can't you guess how I did it? The Lance of Longinus is just a vessel, Louis. It could have been any object that had the blood of Christ on it. The blood of an ancient, more precisely. But I didn't need the blood of an ancient. You see, I have been in dear Lord Mortimer's physical body for longer than my brother has been in Sir Gregory Holmes. Therefore, I am an ancient, Louis. What happened in the ether? I surpassed him. What do you mean you surpassed him? I made sure he was poisoned by my blood before our little chat. Remember the cup of tea in the dining room? 
I wagered that Gregory simply wouldn't be able to let it get cold. Old habits do die hard. You put your blood in your tea? And he put the hangman's rope round his own neck. Ironic, isn't it? Unable to extract himself from his physical body, it didn't take much time for me to absorb him. In any case, what's done is done. I'm going to rest in the dining room. Join me there when you're ready. The time has come to end this little antisocial gathering. I did well not to follow home, didn't I? Come on, let's get it over with and join Mortimer in the dining room. Now's the time to join Mortimer. I won't be able to go back after... Here we go. Louis, I was expecting you. Do you feel better? Yes, yes, don't worry, I'll be all right. I wanted to speak with you about what's going to happen next. But before we begin, I would like you to give me back the Holy Lance, please. Now that Gregory is gone, you won't be needing it anymore, and I prefer to put it back in its place. Of course. Here you are, Father. Thank you. Congratulations, by the way. You managed to find the right one among all the copies. I'm impressed. This conference will have been one of the most eventful I've ever known. I'll just have to take your word for it. Before I get to why we're here, you must know that I've been watching you very closely over these past few days. I was impressed by your intervention to prevent Peru from killing himself. You remind me of myself when I was starting out. As far as the door of my crypt is concerned, it is a pity that you lost your hand while trying to open it. You succeeded in telling the Hillsborough twins apart. Even for me, that wasn't an easy thing to do at first. I remain proud of what you achieved for me by falsifying that letter to the Pope on behalf of Piaggi, because I know that was not an easy task. But the important thing is that you escaped the worst with Volner, because he could have killed you when you were in the guise of Piaggi. Yes, it was a bit touch and go. Which leads me to a chat about what I envisage for you now. You are the chosen one, Louis. The one I've been waiting for all this time. Thank you, we I... We are going to be able to become one. Hmm, I, I don't quite follow you. Be proud of yourself, son. For you are the one I have chosen to be my next mortal coil. I... I but... What about me? Am I imagining things, or did he just tell me to my face that he's going to eat me? Unfortunately, no, you won't survive the transfer. But I want you to know that I only select my bodies from my own children, and that you are the one who has impressed me most. It's far from being my first time, as you can imagine. I didn't think it was possible to find a more promising son than dear Augustus, can be very proud of yourself. W wait a second, hang on. Do you realize what you're saying? Are you insane? Oh, come, come, my son. Let's not end everything on a bad note, please. Son of a bitch. He's not going to get away with this so easily. I must make him get closer to me. Come now, don't complicate things. Wait, I have something else you want. Well, look at that. You found it. Hmm. Decidedly, you are very resourceful, Louis. 
You impress me right up to the very last. For Alazif, I am willing to get closer. Wait, no, uh, the blood of an ancient. <laughs> I, I was right, my son. You really are the very best. As Mortimer had planned, Napoleon Bonaparte sold Louisiana to the United States after purchasing it from Spain. Bonaparte continued his political and military ascension until he proclaimed himself emperor. He went on to invade a large part of Central Europe. The legend of Napoleon persisted after his death, conferring on the emperor the role of Messiah for France. Remaining very popular, George Washington put an end to the various internal rebellions without violence and re-established trade agreements with Great Britain. Upon his death, he became a national hero and left an entire nation in a state of mourning. On his return to Spain, Manuel Godoy proceeded to give Louisiana up to France. Later on, he became the target of the Crown Prince of Spain, Ferdinand VII. The latter gave no respite to his mother's lover, going as far as condemning him to exile. He confiscated all of Manuel's titles and possessions, as well as those of his mistress, Pepita. Pursued, they ended up living out their last years in France in poverty and anonymity. The influence von Volner had over King Frederick William ironically ended up working against him. The sovereign thrust him into increasing repression until the end of his reign. Von Volmer became the object of the people's hatred, was therefore stripped of his titles and land by the new king, and died in poverty to general indifference in the Prussian countryside. His eminence, having successfully accomplished his mission, returned to His Holiness the Pope with full honors. Although all his ambitions had become possible, to the stupefaction of his entourage, the Cardinal preferred to retire to his Tuscan monastery, far from all political and diplomatic entanglements. Fascinated by the techniques involved in exorcism and demonology, he dedicated the last years of his life to the study of Inquisition reports. On his return from Paris, Peru resigned from his posting as judge at the Revolutionary Courts. He withdrew to the south of France with his daughter until his death. No more was ever heard of Lord William Mortimer. His sudden disappearance was the subject of conversations in the European courts, but only for a few months.